Big juice. Big juice. Big juice. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Big juice, big juice. Big juice. Hello and welcome back to, I think this is our fourth episode of Big Clouds Only. You guys, I'm really banked right now. And today we're going to find out if I have autism. If you would like to find out with me, stay tuned. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, seriously, that came up earlier. I was like, hmm, do I? It was very bad. <laughs> so actually, what I wanted to talk about today was <laughs> my dilemma with health insurance. I'm wearing my Aeros Tour pullover. Do you like it? Thanks, me too. Anyway, I was talking about my dilemma with health insurance. <laughs> so I think, I um, mean, like, don't, I know, like, is it illegal to not have health insurance? Don't, don't tell on me. Don't tattle. Don't tattle. Okay. So my birthday was in March. It's August. So I haven't had health insurance for that long. It's kind of sad. But I just got like, like a letter, not like a letter, but like, I got a form from the, the people, you know, that I work with and we're like, hey, here's the form, fill it out. <laughs> and I was like, okay, but there's nothing about like how much it costs on here. Like, do you have any more information? I asked. She said, yes, I shared a PDF with you. Okay. And it just says like general like Q and A's about it. I'm like, okay, this isn't, this helps a little bit, but I still don't know how much it's going to cost me out of pocket every month I was looking into it again and then like today today I was looking into it again and then I get another email from the boss man and he's like here here's this pamphlet like I want you guys to like have it all I was like okay like this is a little bit closer like we're getting there and it just like has like all the plans laid out and then towards the bottom it tells you the price so I was like okay cool like slay can I get this cheap one <laughs> You know, just something to get me by. Or, like, I was, I need to get my wisdom teeth out. So, I was like, well, whatever I can get that covers, like, that, <laughs> like, I'll get. And I was like, can I change my plan later, like, if I want to? Like, I don't know, depending on my needs, wants, and desires. And then he follows up after with this, like, screenshot of prices. And it was only the VIP plans. So, I was like, oh. Oh. Okay. I asked him, I said, are you only offering the VIP ones? And he said, yes, because the other ones are very poor. And I'm like, damn, they did tell me they covered half of it. I don't know if this is like, I'm just talking about, I'm just talking. If this goes against any rules, I'm sorry. But I was looking like the, the lowest MVP plan was over three hundred dollars like it was three hundred and fifty eight dollars or something I I could be completely lying but it was like three hundred dollars upwards and however I did the math it was the math would be like out of pocket like every month out of my pocket <laughs> for the plan would be like two hundred dollars a month like just under two hundred dollars a month and I'm like that's a lot of money to pay for something like I'm, I don't know what other people pay I just know that that was being offered to me and it's a lot of money and like it's just like rough out here yo I it's getting rougher like when will it be okay or is it just because we're in this current spot that it is so that everything's fucking expensive I don't like things being expensive okay you can only chew in my hands okay chalupa caused a malfunction just now She's so cute, though. Anyways, everything's, like, really expensive. And, like, I just about, not like, I don't even know, like, paycheck to paycheck. Like, I might, like, after all of my bills and after I pay my credit card every month, it's, like, you maybe have $200 spending cash. Like, not even. So, like, what am I doing wrong <laughs> is the real question. I don't know. I don't want to talk about it anymore. It makes me anxious. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Chalupa. I'm going to tell you about the fair. Rhino Balls and I went to the fair yesterday. 
boy, there's a vlog coming. The vlog is coming. It's probably already out. You should go watch it. We went to the Ohio State Fair and we basically did a tour of the fair and it was a lot of fun. It was a good time. The whole fam came out, you know, we had French fries, cheese fries. We had, I had the dual whip. That shit's good. If you've ever had it, if you haven't had it, go get it. The dual whip, yo. Then I had a corn dog and that was the second year that I got a corn dog at the state fair. Actually, everything that I got at the state fair was the same thing. And there was one thing that's new. It was the Oreos, the fried Oreos. Oh my God. But I had, I got a corn dog. Insert it. Listen, sing it with me now. Corn dog. I had a corn dog. Yeah. It slapped. Brian O'Balls bought me the corn dog. <laughs> what else did we have? Oh my God. Then we got the deep fried Oreos. Those are so good. Like, that might be, like, one of my favorite, like, fair food things. Chalupa, I swear to God, you're not going to be allowed into the studio ever again if you don't stop. Deep fried Oreos. Oh, oh, my God. We cannot forget the roast beef sundae. I did get a roast beef sundae. That shit slapped. It was really good. And it honestly just felt like dinner. Like, you don't, I mean, like, you, you shouldn't feel bad about eating the roast beef sundae, I feel like. And I think, it's, I think it's funny because it's called a roast beef sundae. I don't know how else they could market that, though, and be successful at the fair. I saw roast beef sundae, and I went. And I went. And I was like, those things, like, it's funny because it's like, oh, my God, roast beef sundae. Like, oh my god you're the fair roast beef sundae like you should get it but like really that's like what a lot of people usually just eat for dinner (laughs) so that's why you shouldn't feel bad about getting the roast beef sundae like we always had roast beef and mashed potatoes in the house like that's good shit oh my god i need uh, i need to make it and make another pot roast that shit's good it's so good yeah, so if you guys know, if you guys haven't eaten, <laughs> if anybody knows how I can make more money, let me know. I just don't want to be poor. Like, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I really want to talk about the Eras tour because I haven't had a chance. I wanted to make a full video about it, but I don't really know if that's like me but it could be fun and it might be the information might be irrelevant like if i were to give you like an overall eras tour video but there's so many that I, that are already out there but like i guess i could add some flavor you know but the, i don't know if that's me like sitting down and talking about eras tour so i'm just gonna do it right here eras tour i loved it oh my god so much fun you if you saw the vlog if you haven't go check it out it's right here but I got to see the Eras Tour in Pittsburgh, night one. Friday night, the surprise songs were Mr. Perfectly Fine. And then the last time, this is the last time, this is the last time you tell me I got it wrong. That one. I'm sorry, I don't know, remember the name of that. But I love that song. I know that song. So it was that was a really big surprise. That was so nice. Ah, so much fun. Oh, my gosh. And then we did... I got like second chance tickets um, to see her in Cincinnati night one. Oh my God. That one was, I think that one was a lot. I mean, they were both fun, but that one really was just amazing. Our seats were better and the surprise song. Oh my God. She did. I'm only me when I'm with you. And I literally about shit myself because I was hoping so hard that we would get to hear a song from the self-titled album Uh, and it happened it was amazing and then she also played evermore which i do really enjoy that song and i can't believe i witnessed that because her vocals on that were so amazing and like to this day i go on instagram i see you know on tiktok as well like the clips they those keep coming up on my feed of her her vocals and that i'm like oh my god she is so good i love her so much oh she announces other tour days 
um, you're gonna get mad at me, but I did try and sign up for New Orleans. We were trying to go a few years ago, but COVID hit and we never ended up going. So I was like, maybe this is meant to be. I don't know. Every single, every single time I tried to do verified fan, I got waitlisted. I got waitlisted. My specific account, like my personal own Gmail account got waitlisted for every single show I signed up for. And I did try to sign up. I signed up for a few international shows because maybe that would be my moment to go internationally. Like why not plan your vacation around a concert? That gives you a reason to go. YOLO. I do not have a passport, but that is something we could work on within the next year. You know, they weren't, (laughs) I don't know when those dates are, but oh my God. Anyways, New Orleans, that would be a fun trip. So we'll try for that. Maybe I'll actually get a pre-sale code. Who knows? That is so crazy. So crazy. But this weekend, or like she's in um, Los Angeles this whole week. This girly pop, I don't, (laughs) she never, she, okay, so she was recording the show, obviously, there was cameramen everywhere, there was signage, and she never, like, made an announcement, I thought maybe she would say something, and then she wore the same outfits the very next night for, like, continuity purposes, and I was like, okay, so I, we see you, but she broke her rule she played our song again and she also did maroon but she said that she could do whatever she wants for midnight and i'm like okay girl pop up but i i'm like they got to hear our song oh my god but and then somebody <laughs> i saw somebody on twitter was like she did that so she, so it really could be the eras tour documentary play our song i'm like oh i see you taylor i see you i just wish there was like loki wish there was a set for the self-titled album like a complete set that would have been beautiful even if it was just like one song and maybe like maybe she switched it up every night but i get her wanting to tour lover folklore evermore oh my gosh midnights midnights i love that song karma and i that album's really good i want to do oh my god sorry i'm like scratching I think about and I contemplate about doing that was the Eras tour like I don't if you want to know more like let me know like (laughs) jumping ahead so yeah here's the haul I got I got the pullover I got that after the show Friday night there was I was like devastated not really devastated but I was a little sad spaghetti we you know we went with a bunch of people so we went as a group so it really wasn't like the yam show like I couldn't control this crowd and I had to just go with the flow and I was I knew I was going to Cincinnati so I knew I had opportunities there so I really of course I wanted the crew neck of course but I saw the hoodie online and I really liked that and I was like I'm gonna hold off and see like wait and and like when they release like tour merch if there's anything like new and sure enough there was that crew neck and I was like I want this and the hoodie so I had the crew neck and the hoodie. This too, I wanted this too as soon as I saw it. So like, I'm just an OG, you know, I am an original thinker. Is that what they call them? I don't know. Independent thinker. I'm an independent thinker. You know, I made my own decision there, but we, I wasn't like able to go to merch or anything. Like I was getting us to our seats and then back. Like I was not waiting in those lines. Those were horrendous. So like inside the stadium, like during the show, well, also, I was in these boots and I had my fur coat. So after I got to the top of our seats, we were in the last row. After we got to our seats, I was not leaving. I was like, I was baked. I didn't have any water. Oh my God. So I wasn't leaving. So at the end of the show, lines were busy, but we were just trying to get out there. My feet hurt. I was miserable. My si- my sister saw a booth when we were outside of the venue. And she was like, oh my God, like, let's check this out. Let's check this out. I was like, okay. <gasps> We check it out. The pullover's there. I'm like, girly pop, you have a large? She's like, um, I think so. She gave me a large. And I was like, very happy. My mother had tried to go to the merch truck. She waited a really long time at the merch truck while we were at the show. And they were sold out of the two things that I wanted. So it was very nice for her. She did give me the, the beige hoodie. And I'm nervous to wear it. But I will find time to wear it. Maybe in my next video, I'll wear it. I do really like it, though. It's like a nice quality. Like I think the merch we bought was 
pretty nice quality. So, yeah. But I had a small victory there. I literally took my boots off when we got to the hotel lobby. It was great. So then, for the crew neck, this is a whole story, you guys. This is a whole story. Why was I working from home that day? Oh, okay. So, the the early day the early day in Cincinnati. I'm sorry if this is like really hard to listen to or watch. I'm just really baked. So this is like a smoke session, you know, we're come, we're hanging out, we're chatting. It's smoke sesh, you know, smoke sesh. Anyways, Cincinnati early day Thursday. I was working from home because there was a shoot and my mom came down and we made a plan and (laughs) I just sound like so bad, but I got my work done. I was doing my work in the car but on Thursday my mom and I drove down to Cincinnati and we waited in line the line was like wrapped around like the block or so it was like it looked crazy but I I don't think it was as bad as like some of these other cities we got there like maybe an hour after it opened or we had gotten line just as like 10 a.m happened it we waited oh my god I think we might have waited like two or three hours I don't know but everything was in stock I did get the poster and I got the blue crew neck they had plentiful it was like it wasn't bad though like that experience wasn't bad I was just like if I want it I will get it you know mentality and I love it I really do love it the like the tea on the back of mine was like has the album titles it says like taylor swift the t is just a little bit faded on the one side and i'm like you know what i don't really care i think it looks good i do have another one so it's either for my sister or somebody else but that one looks fine i haven't had any issues washing it not yet um this i mean it's probably as soft i just like no like when you get like a new sweatshirt and then you go to like wash it it's like not as soft anymore so i don't yeah this one's definitely like not as soft maybe maybe i'm crazy i wash them on inside out and delicate because i mean we paid these are like not cheap either this is like 60 bucks i mean like that's not terrible for a pullover i don't know the, the sweatshirt for sure that crew neck should should have been 30 35 dollars tops but i know she's miss swift gotta make that profit you gotta pay all that crew you know but this is so cute i love it this is my personality for the next however i don't this is gonna be my personality until she ever goes on tour again like i don't know what else do you have to do with your life than go to shows anymore literally work a full-time job You got your two puppy dogs. You're on here making content for the internet. Like, what else are you going to do? Like, it makes good content. So, like, go to the show. Buy that ticket, girl. Buy the ticket. I know we were just talking about, like, finances. But it's, but at the same time, it's like, buy that ticket, girl. Get it. You know? I'm just mad because I can't, I, I can't live the lifestyle. Well, I don't even know what my lifestyle would be. I don't know. I just want to have enough money that I feel comfortable and I could travel. I would like to pay off any of my credit cards. And if I could pay off this condo as well, that would be great too. Then I would just feel like so like safe, you know, like you got a place to live. You know, you might need a little more space eventually. Like I just want my dogs, you know, that's all I want. So just enough money to be comfortable and like, be able to do the things that I want and I just want to like go to shows (laughs) travel take a little vacation do a little moment you know I'm going to New York City the 24th and that was very impromptu I was like you know what and it was like do it girl just do it just book it and it wasn't that not even that expensive like we're flying into Philly and then we're gonna take the train into New York and I think it's gonna be fairly inexpensive the plane ticket was like under 100 bucks it was good so yeah there's that update i'm doing that and then next weekend this next weekend i'm going to see morgan wellen oh my god god do you remember that did were you guys ever around for that when i was trying to win morgan wallen tickets they had this show at this bar and 
they were having it because they had said that they were there was basically there was a show that Morgan Wallen was going to play at this bar for whatever reason he canceled it and he was like I promise like I'll come back and do the show like two years later who would have known he would have been the biggest fucking country pop star (laughs) in the moment like what had happened is oh my god I wanted to rant about this a while ago but here I am here we are here let's talk about it so this bar bring in Morgan Wallen okay and you know take us for on sale this day if you there was like ways to like that you could get a pre-sale code if you're part of their volleyball team or whatever you would get the pre-sale code and obviously like employees had first dibs or whatever and when it came to the like pre like the actual general sale there was no tickets available absolutely none squat so sorry i take that back what had happened was the general mission tickets like went on sale and the website crashed and it was crashed for literal hours. As soon as I got on the website, it took me to the page to buy and there was nothing there. So I refreshed and the gateway 502 error, like <laughs> that website was not working. And by the time that it did work, there was no tickets available. There were so many people in the comments of the post where they were like, promoting it of com- people like complaining and like shitting and like <laughs> pissing and shitting all over the goddamn Facebook comments. I mean, I was a little upset spaghetti too, because like you're like looking in that page. Nobody got tickets. The only people who got tickets were the employees, employees, friends, volleyball members. So like, I really like, I know like the supply versus demand, like there were so many more, more people trying to get these tickets and it was like stupid because like, I don't even think he was playing a show. Like he was just coming back. That was the show. Like, I don't know why they thought that would work. Why did they think Morgan Wally could play that venue is abs- like those tickets should have cost like a lot of money. Like, if you were to put those out for, like, general public, those tickets would be a lot of money. But I don't think they were that much. He's literally, (laughs) he literally was like, they canceled it. Like, thank God. Thank God they canceled the show. Because all these people were so mad, okay? And I did everything I could to try and win tickets. Literally, the radio was giving, the only way you could win was through the radio. So they were doing scavenger hunts and I did them all week. I got up at 6 a.m. or whatever time it was to listen to the fucking radio and do the scavenger hunt. And I didn't win. I was close. Close by like, not really. I made it to the, the building, but somebody had already found it. And yeah, it was sad. So anyways, they canceled the show and he's like, I promise I'll come to Ohio on my next tour. So there was nothing, there was no word really. And then I don't know how much longer later he did announce a tour and he's coming. He's literally playing the Ohio stadium, the shoe, like that venue holds like 130,000. I'll look it up right now. How much I could be lying, but, um, how much does Ohio stadium how much how many how many oh how many people oh it would help if i spelled the word right ohio stadium oh sorry i lied (laughs) it holds a hundred and two thousand seven hundred and eighty so i was off by um a few so sorry but like compared to that other bar venue like no like outside of it it's probably less than a thousand I don't know I've never been there but the pictures it doesn't look that big (laughs) so basically when he finally did release the the tour dates he had a Columbus date Ohio date I got I didn't get the pre-sale code but rhino balls did so I went in there and I scooped those tickets they were really expensive and then I sold four of them and I'm going to make a profit. So that's cool. So yeah, you can be mad at me. I'm the scalper, but I, <laughs> I didn't want to get stuck with six tickets. Sorry. Just two for safety. 
So then he announced another show the next day. And I'm greedy. So I said, I deserve this. So I got tickets for both nights. So we're having a very Morgan Wallen weekend next weekend. So that's a vlog. That's coming to you as a vlog. Okay. So this is all the upcoming content. Here's my content calendar, you guys. I don't know when I'm posting it, but this is what's coming to you. You're going to get the fair vlog. Okay. You're going to get this. Big clouds only. And then you're going to get the Morgan Wallen vlog along with the you guys you're gonna get the new york city blog that one i'm so excited because that's the yolo moment and i want to go see go see i want to go see the the taylor swift special exhibit at that museum that would be really cool and then I, obviously i'm gonna go to cornelia street and i want to go see where she used to live i don't know where she currently lives but everybody loves that cornelia street moment because it's in a song and then the bar the supposed bar that she wrote delicate the bar that's in that delicate song <laughs> that song you know the one is it good and is it all oh, that you know die bar on the east side where you went lovers of tomorrow lovers of tomorrow rumor has it she wrote that that song is about that bar well, it's about the bar that's in the back of the bar. The speak, you know, <laughs> rumor has it. So I want to see that and just like be in the city, you know, like change of pace. I want to taste some good food. I want to have a good drink. I really well, not this trip, but I really have always wanted to see a taping of Saturday Night Live. And the um, submission like entry has opened. So if you guys, all, here's me like, don't do it because I don't want to get picked. But also everybody's on strike right now. So I hope that they fix that and that I can go see Saturday Night Live. Entry window is opened. If you guys want a chance to win tickets to see Saturday Night Live, you can go to their website and there's details about it. You just have to send an email with your name, first and, first and last name and why you want to go. And I just always wanted to go. I thought that was cool. There's something about New York. It's enchanting. <laughs> It's a little enchanting. I've been there a few times, but I haven't been there in a really long time. Yes, that's that's where you go. You go to New York, you go to Florida. <laughs> that's about it. It's like New York, Florida, and California. That's the vibe. Like, I would go back to California. I've been there twice. Been to Florida a few times. New York. That's like bing, bing, bing. I do want to travel overseas. I want to go to Australia and I think Egypt would be cool because I want to see the pyramids and apparently the pyramids are like right by like a pizza hut or something like that's so or a Taco Bell. How iconic. I think I want to share one more quick story before we go because it's already 30 minutes and I don't know if you're still here but like if you like if you like this um and you're still here leave a comment that says big juice for you baby just like that but it has to be like big juice for you so however you think that comes off in text let me know leave it down below thank you give it a like subscribe to your girly pop she'll be around she'll be posting until you make her stop so I was doing things for work and the one guy that we work with asked me, he was like, like, what are your like aspirations? Like, what are your hopes and dreams here? So like, do you want to be a producer? Like, what do you want to do? <laughs> this is so funny. And I was like, I don't really know. Like, all I want to do is like make YouTube videos. <laughs> it's like, I want a podcast and I want to make YouTube videos and just be personality internet personality and he was like I can't tell if you're like being serious or not and I was like no like I'm being, <laughs> I'm being so serious and he just literally went and started talking about like my passion for YouTube and like the connections that we have through work that like somehow uh, like t the t oh my god I just started talking about how much I love YouTube and there's just strong connections within this company in the, the YouTube space and I think it's a great place for people to come and post whatever the hell they want right and like express themselves and because it's like a free 
it's a free distribution platform. You could upload shit for free. It's great. And there's like algorithms to like help you grow content. Like it's like helping you. It's only helping you to post on the internet. <laughs> they're, they're taking all of our information, but it's only helping you to post on YouTube and Instagram and mm, TikTok. But um, like for your business or like for who you want to be. So I just really love YouTube ever since like, you know, it started. I've been consuming it and... Love all my OGs, Charles Trippy, I Justine, we got Cassim G, Shane Dawson, Shay Carl, you know, who's that girl? You know, Grace Helbig, she's been around for forever. But I feel like she was, I only ever started hearing about her like with the second wave, which was like the, the second wave of YouTube I consider to be like, um, like Joey Graceff is like OG, but he's like the second wave of like Connor Franta and then like, um, Tyler Oakley. And there's some like musicians that were like hip and happening and like, oh my God, do you guys know Charlie Puth was an OG YouTuber? If you guys didn't know that, like he's an OG tuber. So I just think it's so funny now that he's so big, like, and he came just by like, <laughs> he came he like started like just posting on youtube like he did intro songs for all these other youtubers you know who's also been around for forever and it's just like amazing like i love her is trisha paytas she's been around for forever who are your some of who are like who are you guys' favorite like tubers like og or not like i love charles trippy loved him i loved joey graceffa strawberry 17 she's still around they're like some of these tubers have like really tubers really big like companies now too like smosh the og you guys i did i broke my nail <laughs> smosh who else nika higa yeah super mac 18 oh my god we love him where are you at now where are you fred lucas crookshake he's doing his thing who else was around though? Like, who did you love to watch? I did watch, like, I mean, like, James Charles is still in this era. I don't know what kind of era that is. Like, there's, I think that, I think it, I think for sure it was like, sorry, we're going back to like, like the Joey Graceffa, Tyler Oakley era. And then next was like the beauty influencer rise. Let's just do a deep dive on like how things have changed. At least this is what I had eyes on. YouTube is a very large platform now. So I don't know like what else has been happening. I just know like, who was it? Okay, so um the beauty era and like a lot of the DIY girlies. Like um obviously like James Charles, there was um uh Jacqueline Jacqueline Hill. Um, you know, there's I don't know, who I mean like Jeffree Star. But like who was I actually watching and getting tips from? I don't know. Juicy, Juicy Star 07. I loved her videos and her sister too. Like that was a moment. But I feel like those kind of help push like the influencers right now. Or like not the influencers, but the beauty gurus now. It was 420 guys. Yay, 420. And then we've got like, I don't know, like OG, like people popping off right now are like Mr. Beast. If I could tell you right now, like who's popping off, it's Mr. Beast. You know who I've been watching forever is Philip DeFranco. Like, he's, like, I love him. Like, OG. I still watch him. Like, he's where I get all my news from. But, like, if you were to ask me, like, who do I think is popping off on YouTube right now? It's, it's, um, well, remember that PewDiePie? He was, I still watch him. Well, I haven't watched him in a minute, but he was popping off. But, um, it's, like, Mr. Beast. Okay, and then I do watch, oh, I do watch Tea Spill a lot. I'm just on my page now. I'm looking at like who gets own oh, name. Nay, I liked. <laughs> I like to like watch like video essays. So I'll get like tea spill. That's not a video essay. But Naomi Campbell, I get her a lot on my feed. Swell Entertainment. I was I was watching the podcast. Um, we're all insane. There's a few good episodes, and the Trisha Paytas podcast. We have a new Trisha cast, and I love that. But, like, YouTube, I haven't been watching, like, in the past, like, few years, haven't been consuming it a lot. But, like, like, personality, well, like, I loved watching YouTube. But there's, like, not a creator out there right now that I'm, like, I could watch all of their videos. 
but my attention span is just so short. I mean, Br- Brittany Broski's on here. I do love Brittany Broski. Who else? She's popping off. But she can't. I mean, she, I don't know where she came from, really. If, if it was Twitter or TikTok. But yeah, so I'm just in my era of creating videos now. So I'm not really consuming, like, on a hardcore stan level. I don't know. You know who I love to watch, though? I used to love to watch um, was something trippin', beauty trippin', but, like, who was that by? Let me look it up. I loved wa- binge watching those. I would binge watch those. That was a different era for me, okay? No, that beauty trippin' was one era. And then my next era, when I was consuming YouTube videos, was, like, um, The Cut. Like, every single The Cut episode, I've I've watched it. Those Those were interesting to watch but oh and like right like that and then like the h3 podcast i haven't consumed that in a while but i did like to listen to them thought they were kind of funny they're still funny but yeah i don't really know you guys i'm sorry i'm like ranting just rambling but it's fun okay what time are we at what is the time 38 minutes (laughs) Did you enjoy the past 38 minutes with me? I hope you enjoyed. I will be pausing this now. I'm going to go. I'm going to edit this. I'm going to start editing some stuff for you. And then I'll brainstorm some more ideas. But I love you. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this. If you enjoyed listening. Subscribe. And give us a like. I look like I look like shit. I'm going to go shower. Have a great one.